out of the fog of a chilly morning's dawn, a great city shakes off sleep and drowsily comes to life to begin another day like so many others in its history. And yet the city lives with a constant threat, the remote but real possibility of a great disaster. <laughs> Why? I'll tell you why. After we cover some background info. What background info? The plate tectonics, of course. Plate tectonics is a scientific theory that explains how the Earth's lithosphere changes and affects the surface of the Earth. The lithosphere, located deep underground, is broken into many tectonic plates. These plates are responsible for numerous things, including... Uh, I just wanted to know about the Earth... Shut up, I'm helping you. As I was saying... One of the things that causes continental drift is the extremely slow movement of Earth's continents. The continents can drift apart and together, but only move a puny 1 to 2 centimeters per year. My grandma can drift faster than you. Come on, continents. Here's a humorous yet inaccurate representation of continental drift. Another thing is sea force spreading. When the tectonic plates diverge, they cause cracks in the lithosphere, releasing magma to rise in the deep sea. The magma then cools, creating new sea force. And finally, Earthquakes. An earthquake is a large, great, sudden burst of energy from the Earth's crust creating strong seismic waves. These seismic waves can be measured in magnitude, which is determined by the Richter scale. The Richter scale is a convenient little way to measure magnitude of an earthquake using a numerical system. If the level is 3 or lower, it's usually very weak and occasionally even unnoticeable. However, if the level is 7 or higher, it can be very deadly and dangerous. Case in point. Uh, there you have it, folks. Earthquakes are, uh, very dangerous creatures of nature.